Alright guys, the RGW here. I'm working for some FIFA 13 and it's going to be another squad builder. So, this is a 3 5 2 Barclays Premier League. It's going to cost around 400 to 500k, depending on what time you plan to buy him. So, you've got to really save up. Try and trade, maybe get some luck in a pack. You know, and it's, it's, it's a good team. I have done pretty well with him. Okay, let's start with the goalkeeper. Hugo Lloris. Uh, by the way, we're going 3 5 2, sorry. Uh, an 86 highest rated goalkeeper in the Premier League. He's 6 foot 2. He, his stats at the top of his card are pretty amazing. 90 diving, 91 reflexes. Um, his handling position is also pretty decent at 85 and 84. I mean, you, as I said before, with Chesney, speed and kicking doesn't really matter. And at 6 foot 2, really affect him he saves a lot of goals um he's actually saved about four out of five penalties for me as well so he can really stretch to get the penalties right in the corner of the goal okay now the first center back is going to be Nemanja Vidic and that is because he wins every header in the game at 92 heading 87 defending as well he is fantastic at defending with really does let him down though I mean when you're when you're running back and you've got someone like Gabriel Bonlahor or Sergio Aguero running through it's got no chance of catching up um, but so that's why you've got to give him about 10 yards before you get there I mean 6 foot 2, 92 heading, 80 on defence that's, that's amazing for a keeper I mean, keeper, <laughs> amazing for a defender 89 you know he's a great player to have, he's 97k which is the only problem um, pretty expensive and uh, oh, Larice is about 53k, I think. Uh, yeah, 53k. Um, yeah. Now let's go to the next centre back. That's Vincent Company. He's a rock, just like um, Nemanja Vidic, except he is much cheaper. I mean, this is I was first owner of this. I got him in a pack. He does go for around 30 to 35k. His pace really does make him. Uh, Put him in my team because he's very similar in in the way he plays the village, but the pace we really need him. We need one or two defenders with pace, and I mean I put him to the side of village because so they can track back and help him out a bit more. I mean uh, his defense is good. His heading definitely in the game is not 70, 79. It is around eighty six to ninety. It, it he is. A brilliant defender, 85. Did cost um, no money for me, so six six foot four. Yeah, that's him then. Next player is one of the most overpowered players in the game, and obviously David Luiz. I mean, I was gonna think about making, getting rid of him and making maybe put him in centre defence mid, his informed guard, but I decided against that and decided to put him in centre back. Um, he is, I mean, his stats, they're very, very, like, consistent and all round. And he can do anything at 6 foot 2. At only 1,800, surprisingly. He is overpowered at 79 as well. He does, he's probably the best defender in my team. And he's about 80 odd, um, sorry, 95k off Vidic. So. It's real. He's definitely buying me a team. He is absolutely best centre back, like on FIFA, not in Prem. Uh, my favourite centre back in the Prem actually has to go to Company. He's a brilliant centre back. Uh, my left mid. Uh, well, actually, he's in the left wing. Uh, I'm gonna change him to left mid, and that is Ian Hazard, 87, one of the highest rated players in this team. 90 pace, 90 dribbling, you can't really get better than that for a winger. I mean, his skill moves shouldn't really be four stars because watching him games, he does show off quite a bit. Um, it's surprising his price though, he's 130k about 2-3 weeks ago and now he's 60k, which is absolutely outstanding and makes him an easy choice for my team. If it was about 100k, I would not buy him, simply because he is not worth that in the game. He is good stats, good level, but not in the game. Right now, set the defense for mids. 
We've got uh, Ramirez, I'm going to put in this way. Uh, he is, you mean, you can play him to attack mid, but for me, his defence is too good to be putting up there. He is a very good defender, and his pace means he can help out the defence very easily. Actually, it's good to have, in 3 5 2, it's good to have quite pacey centre defence and mids so they can track back much more easier. And when you've got three defenders, you really need that. Um, his dribbling, I mean, he's got all round stats as well as David Luiz, but of course, his pace is much better. And he scored four goals for me in five games, so he does bomb up the pitch quite a lot as centre defence and mid. And, uh, yeah, he's definitely a good buy. I think, actually, I got him for around 4k. Well, about 5k, sorry. And he goes for about 8k. So, I got him for a good deal there. Um, yeah, yeah, Torre next. An 86 for Man City. One of the best players last year. I mean, he is a absolute rock in the centre defensive mid. He will bomb up the pitch. He'll stay in the back. His passing is great. He can dribble, he can defend, he is a quality player, and any team, I reckon, he's about 30k by the way, any team, if you make a Prem team and you've got enough money, definitely buy Yaya Torre. He is absolute class, he will do everything for your team, he's absolute quality. Um, at six, at six foot two, he won a lot of headers as well, um, even though he hasn't scored for me yet, but I hope, hoped he would score. Previously, he has scored quite a lot of goals for me, especially long shots. He's been fantastic at that. And, um, yeah, definitely get me in your team. Okay, right mid is going to be Phil Walcott. I mean, probably the weakling in this team of every position. He is probably the worst player. Right mid, I mean, his pace is amazing. 96 pace, but he's dribbling. You can't, you can't dribble with him. That's the only problem, and... Look at all his other stats as well. He doesn't help back and defend. He's about just 4,800. I thought he'd go down a bit more. But um, yeah, if you do wish to put a different right mid there, is absolute any player is absolutely your choice. This is just what I think is a good team. And the uh, Liza Steve invite me to play there. Center attacker mid is going to be David Silva. He doesn't really do a lot for the team. He does good passing as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, he's about 30k, maybe get to the player there, maybe Sammy Nasri, might be a good player, he might be better dribbling, but um, yeah, he's, he's a decent player, 88 of of course, he's great, <laughs> one of the best ratings in the team as well, his second best rating, uh, yeah, I think it is actually, oh, joint second best, sorry, okay, that gives a clue for the striker, um, to start with this striker, Roman Ramp he is an absolute tank for me. I don't know about other other people. Um, he's oh, he says about four goals in five games. He hasn't scored four goals in five games. He is absolutely brilliant. He scores. He scored about a hat trick in my first game with him. Um, he just scores whenever you want him to. He can shoot with his right foot as well. You know, he's a great asset to the team. Uh, gone down to all the way to 36k, which is quite mad actually. He's shooting 89. You don't you don't really need his head in six games pretty poor for a striker. Um six foot two. I don't really notice that in a game. Uh, that's quite a weird stat. Didn't realise he was six foot two. Okay, now let's go to the other striker. And that is Sergio Aguero or Con Aguero, however you wanna say. Um he is quality as well. Look at his stats in overall, 181 played, 188 goals. I mean, I haven't done well with him. No, I haven't done too well with him. He's done quite his price has gone down as well, 150k now to 77k because of the price drop. He won't win a lot of headers, but his pace and his dribbling are fantastic. And his shooting is not 84, trust me, it is around 90. He is an absolutely quality striker. He'll do well for any team. Full star skill moves. One of the most skillful players in the team as well. Okay, that's it. That is the end of the video. Uh, this has been Sardis WM. Thanks for watching.